Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scran Line, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to make this giant Funfetti cookie dough cake. Now, this cake was not supposed to be a giant cake. It was accidental. It kind of got out of hand and then when I put all the layers together, it just kept getting taller and taller and taller. <laughs> But I just went with it because I thought it might be fun to show you guys how to make a giant cake instead of just a normal, regular size cake. <laughs> so it's a little bit special in that it is actually humongous. And for the last day and a half, every time I open the fridge and look at it, I've just been laughing because it's just ridiculous. So this cake actually has a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five different recipes in it. So I apologize in advance if it's a bit too long. I know that uh, some of you actually want longer videos, so this is perfect for you guys. We're going to go into all of the details. I'm gonna show you how to make everything from scratch. This is how you make my humongous Funfetti cookie dough cake. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with our cookie layers. Now on your left is your chocolate cookies and on your right is your vanilla. Now we're gonna start off by popping our butter and both our brown and white sugar into a large mixing bowl. Mix those on low speed until everything comes together. Then you're gonna add your eggs. Now one of them looks like it's got more eggs than the other. I just happened to be lucky enough to have double yolkers that day. Next, we're gonna add our flour, bicarb soda, and salt. Now, to the left one, we're adding our cocoa powder, of course. We're gonna mix that until it's really well combined. Add some white choc chips to your chocolate, dark choc chips or milk choc chips to your vanilla, and mix those until they're well combined. We're going to pop these into an eight inch cake tin. Now I've sprayed this with oil and lined it with baking paper at the bottom and we're just going to use our clean hands to flatten it nicely. Now we're actually going to use some of that cookie dough in our cake base as well. So don't use all of the cookie dough, use about two thirds. Now onto our vanilla base, we're using some flour, brown sugar, some baking powder and salt and we're going to mix those together. Next, we're going to add our softened butter and mix that until it reaches a crumbly, sand-like texture. Then we're going to add our milk, eggs, oil, Greek yogurt, and vanilla bean paste or extract. We're going to mix that until everything's well combined. Make sure you scrape down the bowl, add your dark or milk choc chips, and then you're going to gently fold those in. Onto our chocolate cake, we're gonna add our flour, sugar, cocoa powder, bicarb soda, and salt. Mix that again, add your softened butter and mix that same as your vanilla. Then we're gonna add our milk and eggs. Again, double yolkers. Mix that until it's well combined. Then you're gonna scrape down the bowl and add your white choc chips. And I decided to go a little bit extra and add some milk choc chips as well. That's completely optional. Gently fold that in. Now we're going to line four eight inch cake tins. Now if you don't have four, you can do them one by one. We're going to spray them with oil and line them with baking paper. We're going to pop our batter in there, give it a bit of a head start and flatten it with your spatula. Then we're going to put little balls of our leftover cookie dough and we're going to bake those for about 30 to 40 minutes and then let them cool down completely. We're gonna move on to making our cookie dough. Now, like I said, this has no eggs in it. So we're gonna pop our butter and brown sugar into a large mixing bowl. Mix that on low speed, just to get it nice and creamy and combined. Then you're gonna add some milk and mix that in. Some vanilla extract. Then you're gonna add some choc chips, mix that in. And then you're gonna add your flour one half at a time. So add one half, mix it, and then repeat with the other half. Now we're actually gonna take tiny little balls and roll it into balls, flatten a little bit, pop it onto a baking tray, and pop it in the fridge to chill. Now our cake baked. Now because this has so many choc chips in it, it's gonna be hard to cut it with a cake leveler. So I'm gonna do what Yolanda Gamp does, and it's actually a fantastic idea. We're gonna use a ruler, mark it with a knife. Now I'm making these three centimeters in height. 
and then that's a great way of making sure that your cake is cut nice and level. Now I'm using some simple syrup and the simple syrup is basically half sugar, half water. Bring it to a boil and let it cool down completely and that just helps keep your cakes moist. And we're going to repeat with our chocolate layer as well. Now to some Swiss meringue buttercream frosting, you can find the recipe for that on my website. I'm going to add some molasses and it's actually going to give our frosting a nice brown sugar flavour. Now I'm going to start off with my large chocolate cookie cake and we're going to frost that with some Swiss meringue frosting. Now you want to level that off so it's nice and even and then we're going to pop some of that cookie dough in between each layer of our cake. Next I'm going to add my vanilla cookie, repeat that process again with your chocolate and vanilla and I actually ran out of space in the frame so I had to show this close up. And we're going to finish with our vanilla layer. Now we're going to add a little bit of frosting on top and we're going to do what is called a crumb coat. Now this is aimed at being rough and it doesn't have to be perfect and it's just so that it catches all of the loose crumbs so that there's no random bits of crumbs showing in your final layer. Now we're going to chill this for at least an hour and a half. We want to make sure it's really, really nicely chilled. So for our outer frosting, we're going to add some strawberries and cream or any kind of flavored essence that you like to some swiss meringue buttercream we're going to add some pink food gel as well and we're going to mix it until it's well combined now just pop this into a piping bag i feel this is the easiest way to get it outside on the cake now ideally i'd have a cake scraper which is taller than the cake but i don't so i'm just going to use a cake scraper and do the best that i can I think it actually came out pretty well. Now see those gaps? We're just going to fill those in with some more frosting. Go around and make sure that everything is nice and even. It helps to bend down at some points while you're scraping the frosting off to make sure everything is nice and even. Because when you're looking at it from above, it can look even but it actually might not be. Now we're going to finish off by scraping the top, making sure that's nice and even as well. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're actually going to be covering the top with lots and lots of toppings. Now to the bottom of the cake we're going to add some Funfetti sprinkles and some mini choc chips. And then we're going to add some little cookie doughs under there as well. Next we're going to pop some chocolate sauce drizzle around the sides. Now I'm just using a piping bag to do this. You can use a Ziploc bag, you can use a squeeze bottle as well. I have the recipe for that chocolate sauce on my website. And we're going to finish this off with a generous topping of cookie dough and chocolate chip cookies which are store bought. I actually added more in the middle which I didn't show because I decided to add more while I was photographing it. Now guys, check out the incredible beautifulness that's happening on the inside of this cake. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so that was my humongous giant accidental Funfetti cookie dough cake. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I know that you guys are loving the cake videos. Now this is inspired and takes some of the recipes from my actual cookie dough cupcake which I've made. You can find that on this channel or over on my website. Um, so what I want to ask you guys is what do you want to see me cake next? Which of my cupcake flavours or my macaron flavours do you want to see me make into a cake next? Leave your comments down below. You're going to find the recipe for this humongous cake on my website thescranline.com link for that is in the, in the description box below i've also left a list of all of the ingredients down there as well thanks so much for watching guys and for all of the lovely comments you guys leave every single video that i upload i'll see you all on the next episode of the scranline